Hey everyone, today I thought we'd do a fun little video ranking all of the blighted killer skins. There's quite a few now. If you didn't know, these are the skins that typically release each Halloween and have the killers appear quite differently due to the blight that's been injected into them. Plague is going to start off our list with her blighted skin, which is basically just her regular skin but with blight in place of the plague. It's a cool idea but she barely looks different. In fact, you could probably just recolor the orange and not much would have changed. The blight skins to me are supposed to be these experimental and twisted versions of the killers. This is just plague, but orange. Next we have Trapper. Poor old Evan always seems to be the greatest victim of simplicity, as his skin doesn't really do too much in the way of changing him. Although I don't think it looks bad, and it's definitely more altered than Plague's in the form of the longer spikes of metal piercing him, and a slightly different mask, which does definitely make the whole look a bit better. Hillbilly's one is the first mentioned so far, which actually has some physical bodily changes due to the blight. On him you can see these claws or teeth grabbing out of his chest, and there's a large lump where a blighted pustule has grown. This one is still quite simplistic, but does offer a slightly cooler look, with small details like his hammer seemingly bursting apart as the blight breaks out. Hag is up next, and does at first appearance have quite a basic blighted skin. Upon looking closer, you can see the true grotesqueness of this one, featuring large amounts of exposed bone and other gory stuff. This one does quite a good job at accentuating different features, like her stomach and mouth, however it would have been cool to see the claws a bit more blighted. Overall, it keeps her character intact, but does have a little more in terms of changing the model itself. Wraith has a very cool looking but also quite simplistic skin, however I do think it's worthy of a slightly higher spot as it does do what these blight skins are effectively meant to do, which is accentuate the main features of the regular skin and overemphasize them. This skin, a bit like Hag's, also has an open torso cavity where you can see his spine, which is a cool little nod to the way he kills his boss Azarov by tearing out his spine. Nurse's skin is just very grotesque to be honest, I'm not too much of a fan of it personally, but it does definitely have some cool features like the different vials injecting into the weapon, and the intestines curling around and throbbing, but still just very unnerving. This is also probably one of the most blighted skins, being almost entirely orange. With Nurse's Tome Lore in mind, it's almost fitting for her to be twisted by an injection also. The main cool feature of Doctor's skin is the multitude of eyes he has all over him, making him look even more crazy. This skin does largely keep the same look to the original, but just accentuates the crazy craziness of him, which primarily came from his face and bat, which are the two things here that get the most focus, with huge explosions of blight and a lot of transformation, in the facial area especially. This one is definitely unique in that way, and fitting for the Doctor, known for his strange experiments. Huntress has a relatively interesting skin, keeping her model relatively the same, with a few alterations, such as the erratic patches of hair that cover her body, making her look all the more animalistic. I also like when these skins have the blight dripping out of the mask's eye hole. That just looks cool more than anything. Overall, this one gives off a pretty chilling vibe while staying quite true to the Huntress and her character. This is a very well done but still quite simplistic skin. Spirit skin is disgusting, I hate it. <laughs> But hey, it's kind of meant to be, so it definitely does its job. This one out of all of these skins is easily the grossest, with the spirit becoming somewhat unrecognisable beneath all the bodily changes that the blight has caused. It even changes the weapon to be slightly disproportionate, and the shards of glass to be longer and orange. She also gets a third eye like the Oni, which is an awesome little detail. This is a really cool one for showing just how strong the blight is, however I think to an extent it might make her a bit too unrecognisable. But hey, that's just me. Clowns is also very gross, probably second only to that spirit one. This one I think is cool for similar reasons to the Wraith's one, in that it's just an exaggerated and twisted version of the regular look. There's cool details like his already bulging belly needing staples to hold it together as the blight tries to burst out. The blight lines his smile, which is quite cool looking also, as well as the knife which incorporates part of his bottles but smashed. Finally, there's a great inclusion of a visceral canker spewing out blighted serum in place of a trick flower spewing out water. Overall, just a pretty cool looking skin, and definitely accentuates the clown's features. Ghostface has a very cool looking blighted skin, and it's even cooler that we even got this to begin with, as I believe he's the only licensed character to receive one. It seems the license holders really like the look of the skin too, because it's actually been made into an actual Ghostface mask that they sell now. This skin has so many cool and unique features. In place of his shroud, he has these weird, creepy, fleshy wing things. <laughs> 
Like a few of the other skins also, he has exposed ribs, making it just a little bit more disgusting. Then there's the main feature of this skin, the melting mask, which just looks amazing. It's also got a really cool looking knife, which has a bit of a different design than the usual ghost face ones. Blight skin is a weird one. Blight's whole thing is already, well, the Blight. However, staying true to the skin's name of True Blight, this skin does a great job at showing the true extent of what Blighted Serum can do. I like this skin, and I think it's one of the skins that works the best, and that's probably because it's on the killer that holds the same name. It is quite simply just a very exaggerated version of regular Blight, but I think that's what's so good about it. Very detailed also, especially with the cool features like the visceral cankers growing out from under the Blight's hood. Finally, we have Legion skin. This is by far my favourite out of the Blighted skins, and I think such a a cool idea to incorporate all four Legion members. If you didn't know, this skin actually contains all four of them, twisted into Frank's body. You can see Susie's face on the back of Frank's head, and then Julie and Joey's on his chest, with all of their arms gripping his main torso as their mouths are wide open with pained screams. Yeah, it's super gross. Then you have the blight spilling out of the cracks of the mask, and also the knife is really cool. This is the perfect blighted skin to me, and definitely the most creative one. Alright, well, that's gonna do it. I do hope you enjoyed, and please do drop your own rankings down below. Thanks, and goodbye.